Today we'll be touring the forgotten air bases and airfields of India, which were once used actively by the Royal Air Force of England and US Air Force. RAF Amada Road is a former wartime Royal Air Force airfield located near Asgovindpur village in Mayurbhanj district of Odisha, India. The Amada Road airstrip, as it was called in war terminology, spreads across an area of nearly 600 acres. Built in the 1940s at a cost of rupees 3 crore, it was eventually abandoned after the war. It was probably named as Amada Road Airfield because of the nearby Amada Road railway station. Amada Road and other neighboring airfields, Dalbhumgra, Dukundi, Salua, Digri, Salbani and Chakalia, formed a web of airfields created by the Allies to stop the impending Japanese advance in the east. During the war, Amada Road was, to put it simply, a battle hub. After the war was over, most airfields, including this one, fell into disuse. Seven decades after the base was built, the 11,000 feet concrete runway is still intact, though the buildings that once cluttered the edges are gone. Asan Sol Airfield is a former wartime Royal Air Force station and later used by the United States Army Air Forces Airfield in Asan Sol, India, used during the Burma Campaign 1944-1945. It is located near Nigar village on NH2 Grand Trunk Road. Established in 1941 by the Royal Air Force as a result of the Japanese conquest of Burma. Chara Airfield is an abandoned airfield in India, located 5 miles of Porolia, in West Bengal. During World War II, the airfield hosted the United States Army Air Force 444th Bombardment Group. Chara was originally designed for B-24 Liberator use. In 1943 it was designated as a B-29 Superfortress base for the planned deployment of the United States Army Air Force's 20 Bomber Command to India. Advance Army Air Force's echelons arrived in India in December 1943 to organize the upgrading of the airfield and thousands of Indians labored to upgrade the facility for Superfortress operations. The post-war history of the airfield is unclear, however, today it is long abandoned. No structures remain though traces of runways and taxiways can be viewed from the air. Some small villages appear to have taken over the former billeting areas. Dinjan Airfield was a World War II airfield, located in Dinjan, approximately 7 miles northeast of Shabua, in the state of Assam, India. It was abandoned after the war and, though unused, is part of an Indian Air Force base. Dinjan Airfield was built on an Assam tea plantation by thousands of plantation laborers, beginning in March 1942, as a result of the Japanese invasion of Burma in December 1941. It opened in the spring of 1942 with No. 5 Squadron RAF and a squadron of Curtis Mohawk fighter aircraft, which remained until the autumn of 1942 before moving to Agatala. This unit's primary mission was the protection of cargo aircraft flying over the hump from nearby Shabu Airfield to China. Dudkundi Airfield is an abandoned airfield in India, located 12 miles near of Jhagram, in the Jhagram district in the Indian state of West Bengal. During World War II, the airfield hosted the United States Army Air Force 444th Bombardment Group prior to its deployment to the Mariana Islands. Dudkundi was originally designed for B-24 Liberator use. In 1943 it was designated as a B-29 Superfortress base for the planned deployment of the United States Army Air Force's 20 Bomber Command to India. Advance Army Air Force's echelons arrived in India in December 1943 to organize the upgrading of the airfield and thousands of Indians labored to upgrade the facility for Superfortress operations. It was one of four B-29 bases established by the Americans in India. With its departure, the B-24 Liberator-equipped 7th Bombardment Group moved to Dutkundi. It remained at the airfield, also leaving its aircraft and equipment in India and sending its personnel back to the United States. It was inactivated as a paper unit in January 1946. With the last Americans leaving in early 1946, the airfield was turned over to the British colonial government. Prior to World War II, 
Dudkundi was a forest belonging to the King of Chhagram who rendered it to the United States Army Air Force to build an airfield, the post-war history of the airfield is unclear, however today it is long abandoned. No structures remain, however traces of runways and taxiways can be viewed from the air. Airfield has been converted into an air-to-ground firing range to Calic and Air Force Station. Some small villages appear to have taken over the former billeting areas. Guskaru Airfield is a former wartime United States Army Air Forces airfield in India used during the Burma Campaign 1944-1945. It is now abandoned. Guskaru was a photo recon base for the 10th Air Force during 1944-1945. Hyla Kandy Airfield is a former wartime United States Army Air Forces airfield in India, used during the Burma Campaign 1944-1945. It is now abandoned. Hyla Kandy is a district of the Indian state of Assam. The airfield was the home of the 1st Air Commando Group, being formed at the base in March 1944. The unit was a United States Army Air Forces group of fighters, bombers, transports, military gliders and small planes operating in the Southeast Asian theater of World War II. They were part of the U.S. 10th Air Force providing close air support for the British 14th Army in the Burma Campaign. The Air Commando Groups was born out of a simple need. That need was to support via light airplanes the evacuation and resupply requirements of British Long Range Patrol, LRP, groups, or chindits as they were affectionately called. Carrying the lethal firepower of both bombers and fighters combined with the logistical tentacles of a gamut of transports, gliders, and light aircraft, this organization would reach deep behind enemy lines to do battle. Once formed, the unit moved us and Seoul Airfield on 20 May 1944 and the airfield was used for non-combat operations for the remainder of the war. Kalyan Airstrip is an abandoned World War II airstrip at Navali 6 km south of Kalyan Railway Station and 55 km north of Mumbai Airport, India. The airfield served RAF Kalyan and was abandoned after the war. It is owned by the Ministry of Defence but has been encroached upon. In 2006, the site was proposed as a candidate for the second airport for the Mumbai metropolitan region. However, this proposal was abandoned in February 2014 as the Maharashtra government dropped the idea of examining alternative sites, having secured all necessary approvals for the Navi Mumbai International Airport at Banville. The airfield at Navali was used by the RAF pilots during World War II to give operational cover to the Bombay region. The total area of the Navali Air Base was over 1,800 acres. Post-independence, ownership of the land was transferred to the Ministry of Defence. In June 2017, the Navy began constructing a boundary wall to protect the remaining land from further encroachment, since around 400 acres of the land was encroached upon over the years. A small portion of the land is used by the Barber Atomic Research Centre for research activities. Lado Airfield is a former wartime United States Army Air Forces airfield in India used during the Burma Campaign 1944-1945. It is now abandoned, having been destroyed by the 1950 Assam-Tibet earthquake. The airfield was located at the railhead for the Lado Road and was also used as one of the main supply points for the Hump transport route to Allied forces in China. It was the home of the C-46 commandos of the 443rd Troop Carrier Group and the Air Transport Command India-China Wing 1st Air Cargo Resupply Squadron. The airfield was used by transport units until the end of January 1946 when it closed. Nawadi Airfield is a former wartime United States Army Air Forces airfield in India used during the Burma Campaign 1944 1945. It is now abandoned. It is the one of the most secret place of Indian Defence Agency. Nobody knows what is going behind the high walls. It is situated in Nawadi near Karmori in Dobby block of Gaya district.
The airfield was the temporary home of the 311th Fighter Group during September and October 1943 prior to its moving east into West Bengal and closer to the front lines in Burma. It remained open as a combat communications radio relay facility and C-46 Commando and C-47 Skytrain Transport Airfield until 15 September 1945 when it was closed. Pandave Swar Airfield is a former wartime United States Army Air Forces airfield in India used during the Burma Campaign 1944-1945. It is now abandoned. Pandave Swar was a major 10th Air Force combat airfield, hosting numerous groups between 1942-1945. After the combat cargo unit moved out in January 1946, it appears the airfield was closed. Today, the remains of both main runways, 1634-0422, are visible in aerial photography, along with numerous dispersal pads in vegetative areas along with several taxiways. The majority of the support station has been dismantled, however some derelict buildings and streets can still be seen, along with a village that appears to have been built on the site. Gamma Boni Airfield is an abandoned airfield in India, located 6.6 .6 miles, 10.7 kilometers, s of Bishnupur, West Bengal, Bankara district in the state of West Bengal, India. During World War II, the airfield hosted the United States Army Air Force 462D Bombardment Group prior to its deployment to the Mariana Islands. Quillon Aerodrome or Colum Airport was an aerodrome in the city of Colum in the former state of Travancore, now in Kerala, India. During the 1920s, there were no other civil aerodromes in the kingdoms of Cochin, Travancore and the Malabar district at the time of the British-ruled Madras Presidency. With the commissioning of Trivandrum International Airport in 1932 at state capital 57 kilometers, 35 miles, to the south, the aerodrome fell into disuse and came to be known as the Azram M. Maidan. The landing strip of the aerodrome was strengthened with red laterite soil from the adjoining hills because the local loose soil was unsuitable for the purpose. There were no buildings in the aerodrome. However, a circular concrete pad for parking aircraft was built. The aerodrome was under the control of the Public Works Department, PWD. The aerodrome was also used for training operations. These were stopped when an accident involving a training aircraft at the boundary of the aerodrome, resulted in the death of the pilot and the trainee. Government of Kerala started plans to set up ten airstrips in Kerala including one at Azram Amold Airport area. On February 2020, the state government submitted a feasibility study report to Civil Aviation Ministry of India in this regard. Rupsi Airfield is a former wartime United States Army Air Forces airfield in Doobri, Assam, India used during World War II. It is now abandoned. The Rupsi Airfield was constructed by the British during World War II to supply arms, manpower and ammunition to the Allied forces. It was used by the United States Army Air Force's 10th Air Force in the China-Burma-India theater. Regional airline Vyudut used to operate services to the airport in the 1980s but withdrew services and the airport stopped functioning in 1984, following which, the state government made unsuccessful attempts to revive the airport with the joint initiative of the Union Ministry of Civil Aviation and the Northeastern Council, NEC. The World War II era airstrip has remained defunct since the 1980s. The Airports Authority of India, AAI, and the Indian Air Force, IAF, have begun work to revive the airfield. Civil operations to the airport will begin under the government's regional connectivity scheme. Stay tuned for more videos on the historic events and forgotten places.